With so many celebrities like Kate Middleton, Jessica Simpson, and Kim Kardashian recently becoming new moms, we want to know what is the best way to get back in shape post baby. Our very own health and wellness reporter Zelana Momini had a baby a year ago and just released a fitness DVD series called Healthy Fit Happy Mom to help moms stay fit during pregnancy and after giving birth. So she's here to tell us more about it. Congratulations Thank to you, Zee. Thank you, Matt. Thank you. Yeah, there really aren't a lot of great fitness resources out there for moms to guide them through the pregnancy and beyond. So I decided to create this three disc DVD series to guide them during the pregnancy, right after giving birth, and then motivate them to get into even better shape than before the pregnancy. This is so. really comprehensive. It so is. what do you suggest a mom should do right after giving birth? Well, having a new baby is so demanding of your time and energy, you just won't get to the gym as often as you want to. So once it's been six weeks and you've gotten your doctor's permission, get creative, work out anywhere, anytime you can. You know, DVDs are a great resource because you can do them at home, but you know, when your baby's napping, do some squats, do some push-ups or sit-ups, you know, do it whenever you can. This is actually a great uh, clip from the DVD to show you how to use proper form when doing a squat. Okay. Hips drop and go back like you're sitting in a chair. Good. So inhale down, exhale on the way up. Always exhale on the hardest part of the movement. Exactly. Yep. So it seems like making good use of your time is key here, and it's not about just going to the gym. Absolutely. I mean, and that's why I created this workout with Devin Butler, who's a certified prenatal trainer. So it's a safe resource for moms to use anywhere at any time. And we specifically chose not to use weights. So we're using our body weight as resistance, and that's key as you start to work out again. Again, key for fitting in those workouts whenever you want. And this is actually one of my favorite body weight moves we okay. did. So we're on one leg now, and if this feels really hard to balance, you can have your chair nearby. But have your opposite arm out for balance. You're going to just grab underneath your knee, pull your abs in tight. Okay, we're just going to lift and drop. Good. So this is hitting your bicep and your shoulder. Good. So try not to let any muscle in that leg be engaged. It's dead weight. Good. We're doing 20 on each side. I'm going to start doing these moves right here at the desk. <laughs> you totally can. Exactly. I think I might. I love I think it. I might. So what about weightlifting right after that period when you have just given birth? You want to be really careful yeah. with heavy weights. You know, your body's just undergone a lot, so, so definitely treat yourself with care. Um, but depending on your doctor's permission and how active you were during the pregnancy, you want to start off by using light weights, simple movements, and lots of repetition. Weightlifting is great because it boosts your metabolic rates. So you're actually burning calories after you've finished working out. So, you know, you'll, you'll get results much faster than you would just doing straight cardio. Okay, now what about the belly? That's an area of concern, <laughs> whether you've yeah. had a baby or not, Definitely. but it certainly is after giving birth. Yeah, and it's so tempting to go full force back into an ab routine, but you want to be really careful of doing too much too soon. Your abdominal muscles have really shifted, you know, when your belly's been growing, and they've laid dormant for a long time in the same place. So you want to treat them with care. I generally suggest targeting a different part of the abs every day. So one day, you know, do the lower abs, the next day upper abs, and the next day obliques, and that way you can get some rest period. This is actually an example of a safe core move you can do. Okay. Lay all the way back, hands behind your head, your shoulder blades are lifted throughout the whole exercise. Okay, you start with your feet flexed, you kick out, and then exhale, pull it in, touch your knees to your elbows and crunch. So you can make this one harder or easier depending on where you kick your legs out. If you're here, it's easier than if you're all the way down here. So use your discretion. Here we go, 20. Inhale out, exhale, pull it in, crunch. Now, diet is obviously a big concern yes. and a big part of post pregnancy recovery yeah. and you have some great recipes and some cooking demos in here not only for mom but for the baby too exactly and that's why I included them it's key to healthy development and for recovery you know and, and you want to have a healthy balanced diet and don't restrict your calories especially if you're breastfeeding you know you want to get in all your healthy sources of protein mm -hmm. your vegetables your fruits a well-balanced you know colorful variety is important here and don't be afraid of calories you know your baby needs it for their brain to develop properly you need it for recovery and to produce breast milk so lots of nuts all over oil, avocados, those are all great. Now going back to the breastfeeding, is it true that you actually burn calories when you're breastfeeding? One of the perks, yep, you can burn up to 500 calories a day just by breastfeeding. So you're definitely going to burn off that, that baby weight quickly. If that's not motivation, <laughs> gosh. Exactly. Well, God bless you and oh, all the women you. out there that have to go through this. <laughs> I hope you like but it. But this is a great yeah. resource for people out it there, is. for it's, women who have given birth. It's definitely comprehensive. Thanks so much. Congratulations Thank to you. Thank you, Matt.